だだだだだだだだだだだサンシャン and welcome back to another video. Today is a really exciting video for you guys. We are doing a summer outdoor makeover. We're going to be taking this drab space that's just no fun at all and we're going to turn it into the ultimate entertaining dining experience. Okay, so maybe that's a little exaggerated, but when you're working on a budget, you do what, what you can with what you got and what we got's pretty good, so I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I'm outside filming this voiceover right now. So if you hear my guineas, I do apologize. They just don't stop, but it's too loud in my house to do the voiceover. So this is what I have to work with. Um, I got a little scared when he was moving the shed for a minute there. I thought he was gonna flip over, but he did great. So this is outside of our patio. Here's our house. I'm not showing you all this right now, but we are going to make this our like, um, I'm not, I don't think entertainment is the right word, but just like our fun area. So Justin got some mulch and he's going to put that right here with some wood on the edge or something like that. I can't remember what he said. And then the inside will be where we park the car so we can move like our patio set out here. And um, I got a little pool to put here, nothing fancy, but I'm super excited about it. And yeah, so we're just going to get that set up today. It is super hot. It is like, thousand degrees outside how hot is it today it's like 96 degrees but a heat index of 110 so that's always great anyway so we're gonna do that today and while he's working on that I'm gonna go inside and work on a few things as well so we're gonna let him do his thing and then um, go inside He's just gonna move it out of the way. Um, but if y'all saw all the mulch we got. <clears throat> and that shed was right here, but I asked him to move it. And so now it's right there. <laughs> on that little concrete pad because it was it just it was blocking everything right here and I like it so much better like this. Look at the frog. We try to include the boys in our house project so they can see how much hard work gets put into them so maybe they would appreciate this space a little better but it is so hot today so we were lucky to get them to help us just move these few items into the carport and i don't know why they're wearing pants do not ask me in the winter time they'll wear shorts and they'll say they're not cold and in the summertime they'll wear pants and they won't put shorts on i don't understand it it's kid logic it doesn't make sense to me but anyway so we're going to get this stuff put into the carport and then um <clears throat> excuse me i'm still a little bit sick whatever this illness is has really got a hold on me and it does not want to let go so i do sound a little hoarse and i apologize for that but y'all look at my chicken legs 
I'm gonna, I can't wait to start just working a little better and maybe adding some bulk to my legs because they just look so funky, like big old frog legs in this video. We will also be cleaning out the carport uh, later on in the video because there's just so much stuff in it. I don't know how it accumulates, but it really does. There's some trash in here and just like everything we didn't need in the house, we put into the carport. But anyway, Justin's gonna start here by, um, we decided to remove the first row of these bricks because they didn't look as good as the other rows he set this up when we first moved in and we loved it but i guess the weather and just erosion has messed up how they were laid in the ground so we're like we'll take the first row off and put the boards down to start the mulch border right there and i asked him if i could help and he said yes and i said okay i'm gonna go get my gloves but i let my 14 year old borrow my work gloves and now i can't find them so he said that's okay you can just watch me do this because it's hot anyway and y'all it is so hot i have so much respect for people who have to work outside all the time because 15 minutes out here i'm ready to melt into a puddle uh, i had to take multiple breaks from just sitting outside and he is working his little butt off and i offer him hydration many times and he doesn't want it so i don't know how people work outside i just i'm not built for that you know I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? I do not. I need my man to do all this hard work because I sure can't do it. And I know a lot of women do this too, and I have mad respect for y'all because just, no, not happening. He told me to actually get up in the tractor, and he would show me how to operate it so that I could just move that back and forth for him. So I get to do that, and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, but right here, he's yelling at me how to do it. And I'm sitting there not listening. I'm like, I'm not going to pay attention because I'm not going to understand it. So I was like, nope, get over here and explain it to me by pointing at the buttons and then I'll understand it. So that's what he ends up doing. And it was relatively simple. So yeah, marriage. It was kind of neat because I always wondered, um, if the, if you push the gas on a tractor, if it goes like a car and really it doesn't go that fast at all so it makes me feel better about him even driving it i've always been scared of tractors because i've actually known two people um one of them was our elderly neighbor and he had a grandson well the grandson was on the tractor and actually fell off the tractor and was run over by it and then um the grandpa shortly after the boy's funeral did the same thing so we're kind of thinking that one wasn't an accident exactly it's absolutely terrible but i've been terrified the rest i mean i was in fifth grade when that happened and i'm 37 so it's been a long time that i've been terrified of ever having a tractor which was part of the reason why justin and i fought so bad about getting this one but then when i saw that this was a safer looking model uh it has a seat belt on it i mean come on but anyway where was i going with this oh yeah when you push the gas, it barely moves forward. Like, you have to really put some force on it to give it any power at all. So, I really like that. And it was a lot of fun driving this. So, I may just uh, steal this from my hubby, too. The other day, I got on the zero turn and had so much fun driving around the property. Because one of my goals is to get a side-by-side. -side. I want one so, so bad. But that's going to be a long time before we get one of those. Because those are as much as a small car. Why are they so expensive? Well, somebody told me you can actually drive them on the road now. I don't know. I really want one, but since I can't afford that right now, um, I just got on the zero turn and asked him how to drive that around, and he showed me really quick, and then I had a blast just riding in around the property um, all the way over there into the woods, and this man drove by and on a, in a truck, and he had a huge trailer stuff behind him, and he slowed down in the road, made the trailer kind of jump up and down because he hit his brakes staring at me and laughing. I was like, you know what? Get on with your bad self. I'm just living my best life out here riding around the zero turn. But anyway, what, what do you guys do that's silly as moms that, you know, you forget that you can have fun because you're a mom now or an adult because my 14-year-old came out and he's like, Mom, what are you doing? I said, I'm playing. And he looked at me like I was crazy. But it seriously made me feel so good inside. It's like I unlocked joy that I forgot I had. All it took was a lawnmower. Speaking of joy, uh, my mom and I took the boys to see the new movie Inside Out 2 the other day. And y'all, I highly recommend it. We really enjoyed the first one. But the second one has such a... It's just amazing. I Usually, you know, the second movies aren't as good as the first one. Uh, 
And I admit, I do like the first one better, I think. But the second one had such a wonderful message and it really helped me understand um, like the teenager's mind right now because the main character, Riley, is going through puberty, basically. And it just shows how sometimes their, their brains and their hormones just are out of control and they don't understand them so that you don't understand them. And I mean, as a perimenopausal woman, I completely understand that. You know, the hormones go crazy and you don't know what you're doing half the time hormones are whack but anyway it's just a really good movie it made me cry um the new character that they introduced anxiety just really hit close to home so if you have anxiety I highly recommend you watch it it just makes you feel not so alone like I know I say you're not alone all the time and I know I'm not alone but it was just something about seeing it and just showing how it's completely normal to have those feelings um It's not something random that nobody else experiences, and there are ways to handle it um, in a healthy way. Uh, So it was just really good, and it just, it was really heartwarming to see that on the big screen and to know that so many more people are going to be aware now of mental health issues like that is just, it's so validating. I hope you guys are enjoying today's video so far. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. My name is Jesse, and I'm married to Justin. We've been married for 15 years and we bought this house almost three years ago. We have three boys together that are 14, 11, and eight. And we are starting to really make this place our own. I know we've been changing our decorations around and moving furniture around and all that stuff, but now we're actually like, making things that we enjoy it's it's so much fun um over on my channel i like to share all kinds of inspiring homemaking um in my health journey i've had a a lot of trouble with homemaking and i feel like i want to share my journey with others that may be in a similar boat that you don't have to stay stuck we can we can do better um so if you enjoy that kind of content i would love it if you would hit the like button so i know you enjoyed this video and the subscribe button so you see all my videos. And if you hit the little notification bell, YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video so you won't miss one. I really appreciate all your love and I'm so glad that you're here. Be sure to let me know you're new in the comments if you are so I can come and say hello to you. And as for everybody else, how are we doing today? Do we have any new prayer requests? I will pray for you. Leave it in the comments or you can message me. My email is in my uh, description. And... Yeah, how are we doing? How are we surviving the summer? Are y'all in the middle of this heat wave? We had a heat dome for a couple days and I thought I was going to die, but we survived. We are surviving and thriving over here (laughs) besides this illness, but it's going around. So I can't complain because the Lord has woken me up another day, another project, another day, and I'm grateful for it. We decided to use these wood posts that we had to make a little border around the dirt um, that we're going to put the mulch in. We got all of this mulch at Rural King. Uh, I think he said it was $2 a bag, and it is called Absolute Black, I believe. I really like it. We weren't sure we wanted red or black, and I chose black. It's so funny because I don't know about y'all, but when we start one project it's never just one project like the whole house explodes and we're working on like three different things at once so not only are we creating this outdoor oasis so to speak we're also redoing our bedroom and i re- ended up redoing the teenager's room and i really love how that turned out um i'll show you guys that in another video um but i didn't film us doing our bedroom so i'm just going to talk about it here while my husband lays out these thousand bags of mulch it's not a thousand bags i'm exaggerating but it is a lot of mulch anyway so we've had our bed we bought off of marketplace for uh 12 years and it is pretty much broken except the headboard footboard are still intact but everything else is broken so we finally broke down and got um a new bed frame with a headboard it, and footboard and it's completely different than what we had before so if you haven't seen the before it's a very 
large wooden uh, four post bed absolutely gorgeous I love it so much but I really do love the new bed too and I will be sharing that with you guys um, in another video as well actually I'm recording this voiceover before I've even filmed my video that went up on Monday so if you haven't watched Monday's video you can go watch that and you'll see the bed but um I really love it and we got some bedding to go with it and I'm really second guessing my choice of bedding because we have a dog and he gets muddy paws real quick but uh yeah let's see what else did we do oh we took the desk out and put that in the teenager's room wonderful decision I, I thought I liked it before but the more we had it in there I was like this just feels really cluttered and I want our bedroom to be a very relaxing space and it just there was so much visual clutter I was stressed out in there like if I didn't have my eyes closed I was stressed out in there and that's not what I wanted our bedroom to be if you follow the fly lady, she actually says your bedroom should be a retreat from the rest of the world. So that is my goal. I want to make it so relaxing in there. We can just go in there and we do have a TV in there. I know a lot of people don't agree with TV in the bedroom, but I don't mind it as long as we turn it off at night. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we would also like to paint in there, but that will have to come at a later time. And now that we've seen the new bed in there, I don't know that the green looks kind of good. So we'll see. Um, but you have to let me know in the comments if you guys liked it or not, if you watched Monday's video. And if not, go watch Monday's video and check out my new bedroom, y'all. Just want to give a shout out to Justin here. Y'all don't know it, but he mows lawns on the side and he had already been to mow a yard this morning and he was gone from about nine o'clock until 11 so when he got home i fixed him some lunch and then in the heat of the day is when he decides he wants to work outside so that's when we worked outside was the heat of the day it was so hot i don't know why he does that it doesn't bother him like it does me so i just do whatever he needs me to do anyway outside we go and he's working so hard after doing the yard this morning and then he's laying all this mulch and laying it out and like raking it out over the dirt i just i'm in awe of how much of a like i words are hard i am in awe of his work ethic it's not every day you meet a man who will get up and do what needs to be done to take care of his family and provide. And I'm so grateful to God that he has provided a man like that for me. Yes, he drives me crazy sometimes because he will not just sit down and relax. But slowly, he is learning to sit down for five minutes and just chill. I'm, I'm working on him. And he's teaching me sometimes that you just got to work through things even if you don't want to. Not against your body telling you to stop, but just if your mind's telling you don't do that, he encourages me to keep going until I hit the point where I know I absolutely should stop. So it's kind of like we're a good team together, and I just love it. I do hope that that ramble made sense. The heat has definitely melted some of my brain cells, as you can tell. I guess it's kind of like a quote I read about marriage that said, each of you is like a piece of splintered wood, and you're both like sandpaper to each other getting the splinters out like making it a smooth piece of wood or something like that I don't know it was more beautiful in the in the meme I'm just my words are just not coming out right but it was it was such a good quote and it's a really good illustration of what marriage is if you're wondering what that scene in the background is that's actually our meat birds and the big rectangle turned over on its side is actually the cage that they were in but they started trampling each other, um, and we lost a couple of chickens that way. So, now we um, have a little yard built for them so that they're safer. It's just things you learn about chickens. I had no idea that they would do that to each other. As for our other chickens, they have really decreased their egg production. So, Justin said it's time to cull them. And I'm like, no, I don't want to kill any of our chickens. I love our chickens. Um, they're like my little, my little pets. Even though I never go out there and play with them, I love to just watch them. So, I don't know, I'm weird like that. Anyway, now I need to go around and clean up all of these mulch bags. Now, this kind of made my hands itchy and I was like, I really hope I don't have an allergic reaction or something because that would totally bite. Luckily, I didn't. It was just an irritant. So, thank the Lord for that. But, 
y'all ever smelled this stuff it's very strong it's at first justin thought i was smelling the tractor and that's what i was talking about but no it's this mulch so hopefully the smell like once it's laid out in the sun a little bit kind of changes because it's super strong and i don't really like it that much but even if it stinks i'm still going to love it because it's beautiful one of my quirky traits is once i once i start something i really like to finish it whether that's a song uh, a book I'm reading or a movie I'm watching. And when he comes over here and he picks up these last few bags, it just irked my last nerve because I was picking them up and I needed to finish it. But I wasn't mad. I don't know how to explain it. That's just something weird about me. And I was like, why did you pick up those last few bags? I wanted to do it. But anyway, this is how it's looking so far. You guys tell me that doesn't look amazing. That looks so much better than it did before. And yes, we do need boards at the other end. Um, and we are going to put some down there when we find some <laughs> like i said we just had these posts laying around from the garden um that he took down these fence posts um that's why we have those but we're gonna get this furniture moved over here this is my swing that i love so much and we do end up moving this so don't get attached to it right here because i didn't like it um i really do love this swing i think he got it at menards perhaps i think he got it last year pretty sure I shared on my channel when he got it because I was super excited um and since then he's got me a porch swing that I love but then we're going to move the table and chair set out here and now I'm thinking we probably need to get an umbrella for the middle but that'll be another day as well have to save up for that I think Menards has those too so they'll probably get a, a good price on the umbrella for that table and I need to wipe it off because y'all that thing got dusty I did not think about that getting a glass top table and I'm thinking if there's a hailstorm, because we get random hailstorms, it's going to bust my table up. So I'm going to have to really pay attention to the weather. So I can come out here, snatch that table up, put it under the carport so I don't get a busted up table from hail. I actually had to come out the next morning because I was woken up from an alert on my phone saying heavy rain in your location. So I ran outside and I cut those cushions off the chairs because the chairs will be okay out there. They're the water like it's okay to get those wet, but I didn't want my cushions to get soaked. So I came outside and put those cushions under the carport um, before the heavy rain hit us because we weren't expecting any rain till the afternoon and it came around seven o'clock in the morning. So that was a blessing and I'm glad my phone woke me up to that. You know what else woke me up to that? My knees started hurting, my knees. And my throat was burning, which means the allergies were acting up. So it was just a fun morning. Anyway, now we need to get this carport picked up because it just looks like absolute trash. Um, and I really don't know what to do. It's, everything is so gross. I, I, there's boards here that need to be, um, he said, put in by the side of the house. So I picked those up and put them over there in the other pile. I don't know how I didn't see the wood pile. I'm like, where'd I put the boards? And he said, um, over there. So that's where I put them. And he picks up all the other stuff because it's so dusty and covered in spider webs. Blech, I hate spiders. I just don't like them at all. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, we just have to get all this stuff put somewhere. The, what am I trying to say? Oh, well, that grill right there, even in the handle, there was a spider web in it. So I didn't want to touch it. And he just puts his hand through there and moves it. Like he is such a man. He's so brave. I could not do that. And we really need to, um, figure out how to clean this space a little better because it's just our leaf blower's broken and that's usually how we get all the dust out but oh i just don't know i guess i'm gonna have to get a good old-fashioned push broom and put in some elbow grease all of these uh jugs you see lined up are actually empty water containers because we have that we set up one in the laundry room and it has an electric spout we got off of walmart walmart good grief amazon and <clears throat> excuse me we just refill those at Walmart and bring them home and we have fresh water. I absolutely love it because our sink water is just not that great. So I like, I feel safer drinking this water. It doesn't make me sick and yeah, it's easy to get a refill on it. It's easy for the kids to come through and get their water, Phil Rip's water bowl. We just like it a lot. But anyway, we're putting those in the back of the car because we need to take those to Walmart and get them refilled. We also have a dryer back there that needs to be sold for scrap metal. And Justin's gonna clear all this stuff out of the corner here because he's got the gloves. And again, there is spiders galore. We actually had a mouse shoot across the carport floor from the grill area over to the steps and it went under the house. So 
that's great. Now there's a mouse somewhere in the house. It's in the basement right now, so hopefully it stays down there and doesn't come up to the top floor. But if it does, we are prepared. I'm uh, so sick of mice. But anyway, he's going to get all this cleared out, and we're going to move that big black piece over to where um, you see the grill. And then he decided he's going to use that in the tool shed instead as storage. So that was fun. He decluttered all that stuff, got rid of a lot of it. And then we're going to put the deep freeze where that black thing is so that we can fill it up with food and I can just come outside when I need to get the food to cook it in the kitchen. We are wanting to go buy a bunch of meat to put in the deep freeze. That way when we go to the grocery store for things, it's mainly going to be just side items. And we are wanting to start a garden. It is already almost the end of June, but better late than never. So I'll be sharing the garden with you guys here too. So definitely stay tuned for that as well as, you know, any of the home updates we do and lots of homemaking and motivation. And if you have any video requests, let me know and I will try my best to accommodate those. I left a little bit of my son in here because I wanted to show you guys. He is badgering me about Christmas already and it is June, but really that's only six months away. And I'm, I'm, I can't lie, I'm excited about Christmas too. It's my favorite holiday. I love celebrating it, it's so much fun. And he's talking about how he wants to decorate outside and how he wants to buy different gifts for his brothers. And then he's telling me a few things that he wants on his list. Of course, a dirt bike is number one. And then he said, I'm going to save up $2,000 so I can get a dirt bike. And then you and daddy don't have to buy it. And then I can say it's mine and I can ride it whenever I want. I'm like, oh, you think you can do that, huh? So at least he has some goals, you know, the mind of a child. Are you ready? Are you even thinking about Christmas yet? Because seriously, I am. The, I told my husband when we rearranged our bedroom, we're going to put a Christmas tree there this year. And I'm so excited for it. And I'm like, why am I so crazy? I do not understand why I'm already thinking about Christmas. But even when we bought this house, I was like, where am I going to put the Christmas tree? Where am I going to put it? And I've been I've planning it out before we'd even put an offer in on the house. <laughs> it's so crazy. All right, y'all, something that really stinks for content creators like YouTube video makers is when you set your tripod up with your camera and the camera slides around or somebody hits it and you miss all the footage. I just had 10 minutes of me sweeping out this area and wiping down the side of this house. It was like two inches thick in dryer lint dust and I swept it all out and y'all didn't get to see any of it. And I'm so sorry because it was so satisfying to see all of that mess cleaned up. So I'm just going in again with um, just a dry dish towel and wiping down the siding. And I can't believe how much cleaner it makes it. Uh, of course it could be better, but for now that's good enough. We'll do another patio deep clean. This wipe down just with the towel. I got it a lot cleaner than it was. My fan's really loud. I'm gonna move that deep freeze over here. <clears throat> By we, I mean Justin. I saw a TikTok of highly recommended cleaning products and there's one I would really like to try called Crud Cutter because y'all can see our doors are just very dirty and greasy, as is the top of this deep freeze. Uh, definitely need a cleaner to get that cleaned up. Like the dirt is just caked on there. So irritating, but I'm gonna get it clean and it's gonna be all good. So no regrets everything is going to be okay but i do try to wipe it down with the dry towel and discover nope that stuff's caked on and i'm too hot to care right now so that's it all right so we ended up moving the swing over here because i told him i didn't want that as a view i wanted the chickens as a view and we're gonna have the pool here whenever it gets here it has not arrived yet but i will definitely update you guys when it gets here and then put the um table and chair set right there that was actually, I don't think I ever shared to y'all, this was actually a gift from my father-in-law. He bought me this beautiful patio set, and then he bought my husband this grill for her Father's Day. So now, we're all set up to grill out and have a nice little family time out here. But anyway, yep, and we need to pressure wash this rug, but our pressure washer is broken. Hey, Bethany, can I borrow your pressure washer? I'm just kidding. I don't know if you're watching this or not, but... We could definitely use that. 
and we're wanting to hang these lights um, around the outside of here. So I'll share that if we get to do that or not. But I really love how it turned out. And I can't wait till the pool gets here. It's gonna be so much fun to just hang out outside and grill and eat. Yeah. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to come out here and just have Justin grill some stuff and we eat at the table while the kids are chilling in the little bitty pool that we got. And I will share that with you guys whenever we get it. It's shipping. I don't know how long that's gonna take. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Be grateful, give grace, and God bless.